Yo, what is up, everybody? Shinobi Eevee here, back again with another Soccer Spirits video. And today we're gonna be going over the seventh anniversary update event. So, yeah, for anybody new seeing this channel, you know I do Soccer Spirits a lot on this channel, and I've been trying to go over you know some teams and everything like that. And I'm pretty interested in this new event. The game's been playing. The, I've been playing this game since like 2014, so it's been pretty interesting to see all the new updates, all the new changes, you know, all that good stuff, and. Yeah, this, this update's looking pretty good in my opinion because, of course, you're going to have, you know, two legendary skins in order to... I don't know if those are free or not, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be free. And there's a 7th anniversary background as well, so that's looking pretty good. You're going to be getting 11 draws for 14 days, and that's 154 draws, as you, as you guys can see here. Sorry about that. And it uh, looks like we're also going to be getting other items, including gradestone and materials. Most likely going to be, you know, mostly legendary, unique stones, maybe something like that. And it looks like also there's going to be some rewards where if you play with friends, you'll get 44 custom tickets, which of course will be for more draws. So in total, you'll be getting around 900, no, no, not 900. Yeah, in total, you'll be getting 140, no, no 198 draws because uh, you'll have the 154 draws from 11 days and these 44 custom tickets as well. So... It's looking really, really good right now. I'm pretty excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. This is going to be a pretty good video. So we're back and so far, you know, I'm loving the background and everything like that. You know, they gave us, of course, the 11 free draws as well. So I already did my draws before. It just didn't record it for some reason. So that was kind of bad. We didn't get anything really off of it, luckily, though, because I wasn't mad if we did when I missed out on a legendary. But um, first thing I want to look over, though, is Bella because she is the new legendary light player that we're going to be looking at right now. And she also has a light and darkest a dark passive, I said dark, that was Bakugan right there, but <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, definitely want to pull her one of these days, try her out, she has some pretty good skills, in my opinion, you know, not bad at all, she also has a pretty good skill uh, stone set, I'd probably go double Ardor and dark, I'm pretty curious to see how people are actually testing her out already too, so that's not too bad either, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, she's mostly just going to be doing a lot of crit damage, um, and you know action speed and max HP so That's basically her abilities a lot of crit damage because this stacks five times then of course you got some more crit right here You know and with the divine spear stack because it does stack five times You know it's gonna be crazy to see how crazy the crit rate that's gonna be getting on that And then she of course got action bar recovery and on top of that she has you know decreasing incoming damage by 25 so overall, her build isn't too bad. She also, you know, has a dual ace burst, so not bad there. And her final technique is increasing strength and type passive effects by 10% for 5 minutes. So definitely not a bad, bad one at all. Ah, anyway, uh, first thing I want to try and do is let's do a couple of draws and see what we can get off of this. And then we'll go ahead and look at everything that's going on here. So, if we can pull... Oh, let's go. We got a legend on the first draw. Who is it, though? Yo, we got her on the first try. We got her on the first try. Are you serious? We got her on the first try. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, we don't need to do anything after that. We don't even need to do anything after that, bro. We just pulled it on the first try. That's wild. I, did, I didn't even use the pickup draw either. And this is the one where you get it more... This is where you have it more likely to get that character. That is wild. 
I can't believe that. Out of luck today. All right. Well, that's a good way to start off the video, bro. We pulled a legend on the first draw. That is nuts. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what else they got going on here for events, man. That's a good way to start this off, bro. That's a good way to start this off overall. We pulled a legend on the first try. But anyway, uh, moving on. It looks like this is the event scout that they got here. So they got a Minerva skin going on here. Beyond Galaxy Ball. Unique Spirit Stone. Spirit Cores. Which are going to be really valuable. Uh, distributed tickets. Gold. Custom draw tickets. And then as far as the login is concerned. Uh, let me go back to that. Let's go back to the login here. As far as the login goes. Um, the attendance event will be giving you 22 tickets. One of them we just spent. 250 SR. I don't know what this is. Random co-op technique replacement ticket. So this one could actually replace the co-op techniques that we used in each player. Okay, I don't know what that's about. That's something new. But it looks like we're also getting band tickets. We're also getting property hold tickets. We're also getting property redistribute tickets or spirit stones. That's not bad. We're getting 50 prison spirals. Not bad there. We're getting some more draws. Prism stones. What is this? Final technique replacing tickets, so Okay, so the ran they'll randomize your final technique. Alright. And it looks like at the end of all of this, you get to make a legendary spirit stone. Let me tell y'all right now, for those of y'all who are new, this right here is gonna be really, really valuable to y'all. So if y'all are really interested in this game, definitely make sure you log in every single day. Cause this right here. This is going to be a game changer, especially for my team. I've been trying to make a legendary unique stone for a while. I've been having, I have a couple already, but I've been needing some for the rest of my team. So this is going to be definitely very, very, really valuable for me. But that's the attendance event that's going on. Moving on to Bella's event that she has. I can't wait. I can't believe we just pulled her on the first try. That is crazy. But, um, let's see what we got here. So, it looks like we got daily missions. So, it looks like this is going to be basically an event where you do a bunch of daily missions and special missions in order to get points. And then, after that, you're most likely going to be getting, you know, rewards for that. And then, let's see, what is the special missions going to give you? So, check usage rating, Galaxy Archives, base contain 100 times, combine 5 spirit stones. What do you get from doing this, though? Like, uh, that's the question. So, okay, here we go. So, uh, depending on how many points you could get, you could get at least two of these. A unique spirit stone select ticket. Property redistribute ticket, spirit cores, three property bands. You know, SR spiral pick tickets, console spears, draw tickets. Not bad there. So, you know, just it looks like some just stuff that you can help, you know, power up your players. And it looks like they also got some more stuff down here. Man, they just packed a whole lot of content down here. Holy and this right here, I'm really going to be grinding this because I need to be able to do some more draws. So, not bad. In fact, I'm actually going to check to see if any of my friends have done anything right now. Okay, none of my friends have done any of the events yet. But, that's looking pretty interesting. I'm definitely going to have to grind that out. And other than that, um, let's see what they got going on in the um, expedition. Because I think they had something going on here. Okay, so here's the Galaxy Archive. This looks like a new system they've implemented, so let's check it out and see what it's all about. Alright, so it looks like this is like a ranking system or something like that. For each player that's in Soccer Spirits, what build is the most used on them? And this is actually pretty, pretty fucking good. Because now you get to see the builds that, you know, the most popular people are winning with. You know, the usage what Yeah, the usage rate. You know, all that good stuff. And it looks like the top is Chrono. Not a big surprise there. Yeah, this is really, really interesting here, actually. And it looks like they got it based on players. So this is the win rate. So this is the usage rate. Ban rate is all of these. Holy crap. Thunder just holy, just dominating the chart on that. And preferred stone builds. Okay, hold up, actually. Okay, now the preferred stone's already showing. Jesus Christ. Wait, you can actually hold... Wait, wait, wait. You can hold both stones at the same time? You can do that now? Let me see this. 
So you're telling me you can hold a legendary unique and a regular unique stone. Now that's no that's some new information. In fact, that makes this character pretty pretty busted. Unless this is just the unless this is just the debuff that they're using, then this is pretty busted right here. So yeah. Anyway, let's see what the attribute looks like. So of course, number one is you know uh, <laughs> mixed team. Number two is Ardor. Three is Whirlwind. Four is Thunder. Five is Light, and six is Dark. Then you got Ardor Whirlwind as seventh. Eighth is Ardor and Thunder. Ardor Light. Ardor Dark. Yeah, Ardor out here just dominating as far as the mains going out here. Ardor is out here dominating. And then Auto Balance, there has been no target players yet. So not bad at all there. I'm actually liking this because it kind of gives you a look to see what popular, what players are popular. You know, what the meta is looking like and all that good stuff. So not bad there. Now moving on to the space time continuum. Let's see what they got going on here. So... It looks like they got some special event going on at the moment, so uh, it looks like they got that, and they got the Galaxy Idly. Now this is interesting, because it looks like they're giving Spirit Stones away for the reward, and they're also giving away these tickets that you can get in order to get the skins. Speaking of which, the two skins that they gave me, I'm pretty much, I'm trying to figure out what kind of skins those are, because I think those might be Choi and Celestia. That's what I'm thinking right now, in fact, I actually need to check that. Because they gave away two legendary skins. I'm just trying to figure out whose skins are they. I might have to look later. No, it's not Choi. I'm definitely going to have to look later on, but I definitely saw that uh, earlier. And anyway, let's look at the let's look at the skins that our new legendary character actually got. Because I wasn't expecting her to pull her on the first try. That I was not expecting. Anyway, let's see what skin she has besides the base one. So got a normal skin. No life skin though. Okay. So she does not have a life skin yet. Not too bad. Her artwork is insanely good either way. In fact, that's one of the main things I like about this game is the fact that the artwork in this game is just crazy, crazy fucking good. And I also like the fact that uh, the life skins that they're giving out now, as far as I've seen, they don't cost as much as they did back then. I remember back then when Jiho came out and the first time she came out and they had her skin, Bro, her skin was $100, and now look at it, like $17, $12 for some skins. Like, that's nothing, especially if you really, really enjoy the game. That's that's nothing. Like, the most expensive skin I think you'll see in here are the live ones, which are $25. Which, I mean, makes a lot of sense. You know, with the amount of time and effort that they put into this game, I'm not surprised that the animations for these skins, um, you know, are worth as much as they are. You know, animation, I especially would know. It takes a long, long, long amount of time to do, and it's just, it's it's crazy hard to do some of these sometimes, so I'm not surprised some of these are only costing 25 In fact, I'm actually glad that some of these cost 25 because then I could be able to enjoy some of the skins as well, but overall, I'm really liking that, and it looks like they're giving out a bonus for every single time for somebody to purchase one of these skins as well, so if you are one of, are you one of those people that buys the skins, you will be getting your money's worth, plus crystals, so you can do some of those draws. But other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much about it as far as the update is going on. You know, they got some cells going on as well. But yeah, I think that might be it for the update. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna we'll go ahead and like, I guess we'll just go ahead and do a battle and see how we do, you know, just to end off the video. Cause I, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. So we're ranked 102 right now in the Galaxy Live, not too bad. But let's see, let's see if we can increase ourselves to get to top 100. Let's see if we can find somebody. Uh, by the way, my team that I'm running right now is a mono, not mono Ardor. It is Ardor and Whirlwind. So let me give you a kind of a breakdown of what my team is all about. In fact, actually, we just found somebody right here. So my team right here, pretty much the goal is for me to get the ball up to the front line, pass it up to Kieran, get paralysis off. And then basically just keep counterattacking and keep them ball up here so you can get as many shots off as possible and be able to take out the other team. And other than that, you know, it's pretty much plain and simple at that point. And of course, we got our back line, which is basically just there to keep Ion alive. So, you know, same thing, same thing. And then, of course, you know, Erica is basically her job is to keep the ball in the middle until we can counterattack. Victoria is pretty much about the same way. Choi is pretty much just there to get to the front line, buff it. 
and you know just get the ball moving up there so without further ado let's go ahead and see what we got going on here This isn't even a goalkeeper. A... Bro, you're kidding me. They got a penetration unit as the goalkeeper? Bruh. This guy out here wild and he's in first place with only two days left to go to hold it, bro. That's crazy. But anyway, other than that, that's pretty much it for the update. Make sure, of course, if you are playing this game, to make sure to log in every single day and to make sure that you get all those rewards because they're going to be giving out a lot of stuff in these next couple of days. I'm going to be grinding this game a lot now because of it. And if you're new, of course, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, help out your boy. We're going to be streaming as well on Twitch, so I'll leave the link down there below. We usually stream around 9 o'clock to like 12 at night, Monday through Sunday. So, you know, we'll try, we, we're will try. trying to do like the whole week thing. I'm trying to figure out how that's going to feel for me. But for the most part, I'm going to try and stream every day, especially during the summer. So that's going to be a thing. And, of course, we got TikTok as well. So, if you want to take a look at that, I'm going to be trying to post some clips from my Soccer Spirits videos in there. So, you know, take a look at that as well. And we're also going to be doing gameplay from other games as well. But, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really going to enjoy this update. You know, I'm surprised that we finally got Bella on the first try. But, like, that's the first time I've done that where a new legendary player has gotten released. And we got her on the first try. On the first day, bro. That's crazy. But, other than that... I'll see you guys later, and this is going to be Shinobi, he be signing off. Peace, and I'm out of here.